tomorrow morning, I'm off on the holiday of a lifetime round the Croatian islands on a boat. For weeks, I've been counting the seconds. But there's been one big question preying on my mind. Will there be enough pepper? No, seriously, ever since I reviewed the Pepper Cannon Mark 32144, I've become a hopeless pepper junkie, scared to leave the house unless I know there'll be a copious supply of freshly ground pepper at my destination. And now I'm going to be stuck on a boat in the middle of nowhere for a week. What if they don't have any pepper on board? Well, thankfully, Cleve Oynes, the genius behind the Pepper Cannon Mark 32144, has come to the rescue and sent me a travel cannon to meet my portable pepper grinding needs. And here it is. So let's head off to the airport and put this thing through its paces. So we're here at Bristol Airport. I've managed to get through security despite the fact that I'm packing my pepper cannon in its travel case. Haven't had any opportunities to grind yet. Not gonna put it in my coffee, but uh, I'm sure they'll come soon. The first chance I had to put my new toy into action was on the aircraft. Now I guess that if you were to look up the dictionary definition of polishing a turd, putting pepper on an easy jet bacon butty would probably be it. But hey ho, all in the interests of science. Actually, that wasn't too bad. When we arrived in Split, we had a day looking around the tiny streets surrounding Diocletian's palace, stopping to touch the toe of the statue of Gregory of Nin, which is said to bring good luck. Then it was time to board the boat and head off round the islands. Well, I'm here on the boat. In fact, it's the second morning now. I'm the first one up, nobody else about yet. So I thought I'd kick off with a quick slug of coffee. And what can I tell you, other than the fact that the Croatian islands are utterly magical and to be able to come and see them on a boat is just beyond lucky i mean it's really it's one of my bucket list dreams but it turns out there was one thing missing because who knew the only pepper that they had on board the boat is pre-ground no freshly ground pepper so thank god cleave sent me the travel cannon because i'm going to need it every single day then we headed off to try and find some more pepper grinding opportunities on the islands of Viz, Havar, Brac, Korchula and Salta. What small design issue with the travel cannon? It's not waterproof, so it's not the ideal jet skiing accessory. But other than that, I couldn't really fault it. Well, sadly, we're coming to the end of our Croatian adventures. And what can I tell you? This place is utterly magical. If you ever get the chance to visit the Croatian islands, you must seize it and just amazing to be able to go and visit the islands by boat. I suppose the biggest highlight for me was probably Korchula, so much so I had to buy the t-shirt. Just the most beautiful village surrounded by hills. In fact, you know, it's all been beautiful. Viz is lovely, split itself. In fact, so much so, a number of us are now thinking about mutinying and seizing the ship and see if we can live aboard for another couple of months. The surprise success story, though, has of course been the travel cannon, which everybody started out slightly taking the piss out of me with my travel pepper grinder and its belt pouch, but actually soon wiped the smile off their faces when they discovered there was no pepper grinder on board. And not only that, in fact, out of all the restaurants we visited, I think only one had a working pepper grinder. So this thing has been absolutely invaluable. Well, back at my desk again now and a few last thoughts about the travel cannon here. Now, I have to admit, I was a bit sceptical about this thing when I first heard about it. Not because I doubted the build quality would be good or that it would work well. After all, its older brother is the pepper cannon which is probably the world's best pepper grinder. And the Travel Cannon is just a smaller version of the same thing. A pepper grinder which delivers positively obscene amounts of pepper precisely ground to your preferred level of coarseness. 
Like the pepper cannon, the lid comes off with the press of a button, making it very easy to refill. And like the pepper cannon, it also has a cap on the bottom to stop stray grinds going anywhere, which is going to be important if you're going to carry a grinder around with you on your travels. It also has this removable rubber grip on the top to make it easier to twist. I find it easy enough without, but I suspect that older people might be quite glad of that. Now, I was more sceptical about whether or not I'd actually use this thing. I mean, I've heard of people taking small pepper grinders on their travels, but actually, I'd only ever heard of women doing it, perhaps because they have handbags which seem to be able to swallow an almost limitless number of unnecessary items. But I think the travel cannon is probably going one step too far for most handbags. What you might call one waffer too many. I mean, it is quite heavy, about 400 grams. In fact, the pepper cannon itself is only 100 grams more. So instead, there's this belt pouch. But I really can't see this coming to a Chanel catwalk near you anytime soon. And I'm not sure it's going to catch on amongst men either. I mean, I wouldn't normally travel to the airport with a pepper grinder holster hanging from my belt. Still, there's no getting away from the fact that, as I just proved, you simply cannot rely on a dependable supply of good, freshly ground pepper when you go on holiday. So whilst I'm probably not going to wear this thing to the airport again, I certainly will make space for it in my suitcase. If you're looking for a full-size pepper grinder and want the best one in the world, you might like to watch my review of the pepper cannon here. I'll put a link up there. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.